Hello, hope everyone's keeping well. We're going to do another video, uh, some Kihon. We're going to do Thai Hinjutsu, or literally body changing art. Um, the whole point of Thai Hinjutsu is two reasons. Number one, to escape maybe from being thrown or from an attacker. And secondly, it kind of moves into Intonjutsu, uh, moving silently. Because the thing is, our brains are designed to pick up the shape of the human form. Therefore, to stop us being seen as a human form, maybe standing like this, or like this, or, or how we stand as humans, or maybe sitting down, what we need to do is change the shape of our body so we're not recognised as humans. That's why we have the word body changing art. So if I'm down like this, I don't look so, so human. So you may have heard, those people who served in the army may have heard the words shape, shadow, silhouette. We're doing the same kind of thing. We, we're trying to take away our shape, get rid of our uh, silhouette, and uh, also our shadow. Now, of course, some of these roles will be done at night. It's in Tonjutsu, the kind of thing we're doing in, in the evenings, in the dark. Uh, but equally, I say that they are, they are also ways of uh, receiving throws or being pushed, etc. etc. We're going to move through uh, very quickly, actually, through some areas I want you to study, study at home. I'm not going to go into too much depth, but these are things you can take out and practice in your front room or in the garden. We're going to look at first of all Ukemi, how to receive. Kaiten, how to roll, uh, Nagare, which means flow, and we'll look at what's called Hapo Tenchi Tobi, eight ways uh, up and down, leaping, and the eight directions. So uh, we're going to start with Ukemi, how to receive. Now, actually, uh, in martial arts like judo, when they get thrown in for Ukemi, we actually don't want to do Ukemi, because if we can, what we want to do if we're thrown or pushed, we want to be able to roll, we want to be able to do Kaiten and get back up into the fighting position. But sometimes you can't. Sometimes maybe someone's caught you in such a way that they've got you off guard or you're off balance or maybe they've got your legs and you literally cannot roll. So we'll start with Ukemi as the most basics. And what's important is that with the Ukemi, we're always in a position ready to strike. It's not just about hitting the ground. It's about being in a position where we're ready to counterattack uh, the attacker. So we're going to start with uh, what's called my Ukemi, a forward Ukemi. And the basic way of doing this is really from the leaning position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from Seiza here. And I'm going to move forward and I'm going to hit the ground like this. Then my leg's going to come through and then it's going to kick. So when I hit the ground, I'm not hit, landing on my hands, I'm landing on my forearms like a whole no kamai. So it's here where I'm landing. So again, You'll notice also my, my leg comes up as a counterbalance. So when I hit the ground, this is here. Then this comes through, then I kick to the front. And the reason being is, maybe I'm being pushed from behind, so my legs turn back and kick in the attacker, and then I come up and kick the one forward. So I might have an attacker in front, one behind, the person from behind pushes me forward, I hit the ground, I come through, and I kick the person in front. And that's the form. So I do it once more. So from here, falling. One, two, three, and back. If you can't do that, simply practice from Caesar. Here. One, two, three, and back to the position. The second ukemi is to the rear. Koho uh, ukemi. So this time I'm being pushed from the front. Again, I want to bring my leg off. I'm not landing here, like this. And then I bring my hands here. So I'm actually in an Ichimonji. And you can see as the, as the camera moves, I can keep that foot pointing at my attack. I can change if I need to. But I'm actually being protected against someone bringing kicks in against me. So, again, imagine I'm being pushed here. It's no good with just falling down like this and someone can run in and put kicks in on me and I kind of now protect myself. What I want to do is as I fall, just bring this leg up into the attacker and then here and I can stop that attacker coming in on me. Okay? Uh, so I'll do it once more. From here we're being pushed. You can step back slightly if you wish, or you've had time, or just simply bring the leg out and come down. Don't slap the ground. 
because it's not backed, it's concrete or it's a hard surface. I bring a hand here and protect. Once I've kicked, I can then roll backwards and always finish in a comai. Okay, third one is Yoko Rukimi. Again, it's where we're being pushed this time from either side. Very similar to the, uh, to the rear one. As I'm being pushed, I'm going to land like this. This time, this leg comes out, and now I can be here, or I can change it. Again, I protect myself from the side of where the attack is coming in. So once more, being pushed down, keep his leg out. Protect, you can move around. Protect yourself. And there the Okay, oh, very hot today, so I've got to catch my breath. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a uh, kaiten. Kaiten is rolling. Four directions is forward, sideways, and back. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is something we call Zenpo kaiten. And again, it might be where I'm here, I'm being pushed behind. Don't just move forward like this, you're being pushed. Learn step. So I'm stepping and I roll and I turn to face the attacker. So I'm starting Shizuno Kamai. I'm moving here. You can form a T with your hands like this and you can roll across the arm, diagonally down the back, here and turning to face my attacker. Do this once more, face for a different direction. So I'm being pushed. One, two, and three. Now you notice I didn't actually look that time. There's a reason for that, which I'll explain later when we're doing another technique. This is once more. So being pushed, step, roll into the ground. Don't roll onto the ground, roll into the ground. Come up. Finish in Ichimonji no Kamai, or Sei no Kamai. Next one is the opposite. Koho or Ushiro Kaiten. Uh, this time I'm being pushed from the front to step back, sit down and use the this leg to roll over. And I like thinking Jumonji no Kamai as opposed to standing right up because my theory is if someone pushes you over, the chance are going to kill you with a kick because you're rolling on the ground. If you stand up, you might get pushed over as you're trying to get your balance back. So, if you take a step and then you have to roll, as you're here, you can protect here. Or you can block, receive, and do whatever techniques you want. Okay, so once more, make sure big step back. A lot of people make the mistake of doing a small step back, then you try and sit. I'm being pushed, it's a big step back. One, two, take a big step back, the closer you can get to the ground the better, then sit on your butt, kick this leg over. So sit, kick, protect. From here, I might catch the leg, take him down, and do a technique from, say, to cut your Shinru or something to finish him off. Okay, next one is Yoko or Sokoho Kaiten. A lot of times people start with this Yoko which you no Kamai and they're kind of here, maybe someone's throwing something, I need, a, I need a roll, I need to escape. So the way you do that is just roll across the shoulder, the shoulder, and make sure you're facing forward. So here, I'm constantly looking at my attacker, here, like this, and again my hands can form a T-shape. So as I go down, rather than standing like this, they go down here, the hands are on the ground, roll, and come back up. Do this once more. Remember I said start from Kamai to Kamai. Here's the Kamai. Here, up, and Kamai. Back into Hira Ichimonji no Kamai. So on Hira, into Hira. And obviously the same your way. So, we looked at the Yukimi, forward, side, rear. 
we've looked at the chitin forward, backwards and side and just the point to consider is don't let your head hit the ground start from Kamai, finish in Kamai uh, always be ready for a counter attack don't just fall to the ground be ready to counter uh, four more techniques we're going to do which are called Nagare Nagare so the first one is called Tachi Nagare up and down flowing I'll do this from the side so this time the legs swivels up and we sit then we roll so this time we're not stepping back this time we're here the leg comes up and we sit straight down then back try to build up strength your legs so you're not just dropping you're controlling your descent and finish it in the kamai so once more tachi nagre she's in kamai facing forward lift up down over Finish in Sagan or Kamai, Jumanji or Kamai, whatever Kamai is appropriate. Uh, next is your call Nagare, sideways flowing. This is where this leg goes sideways, we're going to sit on the hip and we're going to roll sideways. So this time, your Nagare, one, two, and three. And again, look at your attacker. So one, Two, and come back. I'm trying these rolls very slowly so you can actually see what's happening rather than doing them fast. And the good thing about press on an even ground, this is fairly uneven. It's not a, not a dojo, it's not a tatami, it's not a mat, it's uneven. There's holes, ruts, so it gets you to roll on different surfaces. So maybe start pressing on your carpet, go to the garden, then if possible, go out find a rough area and practice. What could happen in Yokonagare is actually might be in a position here. Ichimonji faced an attacker and his leg gets swept to get swept aside. Instead of falling down, I can come back up. So one more. I'm here, kicks aside and comes back up. Okay, so I'm trying to do this really slowly so you can see. Very hard to do slowly as you can imagine. So, kicks aside, down, rolling over, and up. And that's more at full speed. Uh, two more. So next we have Jun Nagare. The Jun Nagare. So Jun Nagare uh, is actually why I said, with a rear roll, I didn't look back. Uh, or oh, sorry, the front roll, I didn't look back. Uh, and the reason is because we're going to do it in Jun Nagare. So in Jun Nagare, I step back here, but I don't, I don't uh, break my observation of my attacker. I roll this way, but my eyes stay facing the attacker. So Jun Nagare. So step back again, keep looking, I'm looking at the camera. And here, sideways on. Again, big step back. Don't look this time. Look at the attacker. Roll to shoulder. Come up. And here. Variations is, is Gyaku Nagare. This time, we step back in one direction, but roll on the other side. So the way we do this, if I step this way, instead of this way, this shoulder goes over. So I step back, but I'm going to leap onto the shoulder and come back here. Let's so watch it from the side. Step back. Instead of rolling the shoulder, this shoulder is going to move this way and come back up into the common. Okay. So just catch my breath. Uh, yeah, it's very hot today. Everybody's inside. Uh, so we've just come from around the lake with family. And what is no one here, I thought we should film. So we're not endangering anybody at any, at any point. Uh, but it's also very hot. So, uh, uh, okay, so 
Let's do the last ones. We're going to do Hapo Tenchi Tobi. So Hapo is eight ways. Tenchi means heaven and earth. So these are leaping. Uh, leaping is Tobi. So uh, there are there's eight directions, sideways, forward, back, and also the cardinal points. In fact, actually, it's 360 degrees. You should be able to leap in any direction. But for ease, we talk about these eight directions, like the eight points of the compass, north, south, east, west, north, east, south, east, north, west, uh, south, west, etc. And then we've got the axle of the wheel, if you like, going down and going up. So we're going to start with Yoko Torbi. And what's important here goes back to what we talked about with the Komai. And when we do the Komai, and the Shizuno Komai, the knees aren't locked, they're bent. This way, if we want to leap in any direction, we're all ready to go. The legs are already like springs ready to leap. Now maybe I want to leap that way, so I leap. If I want to leap the other way, I can do it. I don't need to go down to come back up again. Practice bending your knees and then just from here, moving. Practice from here, moving. Or moving. One. Once you can do two, practice moving, different angles. Don't let the feet cross. Keep close to the ground, almost like your feet are skimming the ground. You're going to be in Komai too, and keep it light. And also practice moving and suddenly stopping. Because the variation of this could be, as we'll do the next technique, where we're doing the forward and backwards. Uh, so, with a backwards one, I see the attacker turn by front, so I step back. That kind of brings me side on, and I leap back. So this is a uh, Koho Torbi, Koho Torbi. Step back, away from the attacker, instead of rolling, leap back, finishing the combine. So one, two. You might need to take more than one step. But learn a step to stop, dead on. So learn to go one, two, and stop. Come on. And that is your core Toby. Just catch my breath before we do the last one of these uh, lateral movements. And that simple pole, Toby. This tiny attack is coming behind. It's no good just trying to leap forward because you don't know what the attack is. Do as though you're going to do a roll again. Take a step forward and look. Because it might be a friend coming up on you. Remember the family playing a practical joke. What you don't want to do is do a back kick or whatever. I want to be able to look first. See what's behind me. So that gives me distance. And if I need to move, I can turn and take up the combo. So one, look behind, decide, is this a, this a threat? It's not a threat, it's carrying walking, okay? So maybe I'm walking down the road, I hear something behind me, oh it's not a threat, I'm just carrying walking. I'm walking down the road, I hear something behind me, I can step, and if it's an attacker, I can gain distance. Looks like. So from the side, step forward, look, and literally your body turns like it's in the air, here and here. So once more, this side of the yoga way, stepping forward, looking behind, I can see the attack, so what I just need to do is change and just give yourself a little bit of distance, say six feet. So you have the backward one, where we step, and move back this way, finishing the combine. The forward one, step here, and leaping forward. The yoko, where we move sideways, either yeah, left or right. And then with the axle, the axle stand, if you like, for the wheel. Now obviously from those four directions, I can move that way. So I could move diagonally. Can move that way or this way or this way. This is just practice. 
Then you can combine this for rolling too, so you can do a leap into a roll. This is more advanced practice. Uh, lastly then, Ten Chi. Uh, so, to do the ground, the Chi will literally drop straight down. It's almost like being a puppet where the strings are cut. Just let yourself go. Here. This hand touches the ground and, and your body comes inside his leg. Free if I needed to, I could roll. But I just drop straight down. So from here, straight down here. You can maybe think of some uh, kata where it might punch here and then come up. So with Haibari from Shinden Fururu Daken Taijutsu, where we drop down very quickly and then come up. Uh, so actually these key on are in the kata to the more advanced uh, movements. So from here, just simply drop, maybe a sword's coming to my head, I want to get down. From there, I might want to roll. Maybe finish in the kamae, maybe put my hands out if you've got a sword, we're bringing them here. Okay, lastly, is heaven, jumping to heaven. So, he's catching my breath again, because again, very warm. Uh, some people say, why do you take your jacket off? Well, it looks good, it looks good, okay. Uh, so, um, to jump up, I see a lot of people doing it this way. I so they're doing a bunny hop. The legs don't come round the back, we're not doing this. What we're trying to do, is almost try and do this in the air. So we cross the legs in the air. Uh, so, the gang goes back to Shizuno Kamai. If your legs are straight and someone cuts your ankles, to be able to jump, you first need to come down to go up. What you must practice is actually having your knees bent and trying to go from here. That doesn't mean you're gaining too much height, you won't be jumping as high, but what it does mean is immediately your feet are leaving the ground. Yes, you could go down and go higher, but if I'm facing an attacker, I don't have time to drop my body weight and come back again. What I need to do is have my legs already bent, and just from that position here, just that little bit there, is enough to clear my legs. And this is a really good exercise for building legs, this plyometric strength, of just from here, Kicking the muscles in and up. So you're not aiming for height, just aiming to immediately lift up. Yes, you can go over here and get more height, but say, whether you've got time to go down when that sword or that staff is coming in. No, I actually need to go <laughs> from here, then maybe leap back. Okay, so I'm going to mention the depth because it's, it's so damn hot today. Really is a scorcher. Sweat is pouring off me. We could have done uh, a lot more. Uh, but these techniques lead on so many other things like how to climb shorten, how to hide, you know, we're down here, seki tonjutsu, hiding behind rocks, or in grass using uh, what's sometimes called kusa, uh, hiding, hiding in the grass, how to sneak, how to use stealth moves like yokoruki or kawashi. These move methods are moving, uh, maybe on the ground and moving along. Jumping off heights, maybe jumping off a, a three, four, five, six foot wall, hitting the ground, rolling. But for my grade, I look at those things later. We, I'll take you outside, we'll set up some exercises, and you can do that. But for now, just practice these rolls. These uh, ukemi, break falling, kaiten, the four methods of rolling, front, back, junnagare, uh, sorry, front, back, and side, both sides. The nagare, the front, uh, sorry, the, the Tashi Nagare, Yoko Nagare, Jun Nagare, and uh, Gyaku Nagare, and the eight ways leaping up and down. Okay, practice these in a dojo, and then uh, when we come back, I don't know when that'll be, but when we come back, it'll be something I'll be testing you on. So there's no excuses not to train, just to sit at home saying, well, training's not on now, just take four months off or three months off, how long it's going to be. Now, down in your back garden, in your, in your uh, uh, living room, and practice these things so they become natural. Okay, uh, stay well, see you in the future. Okay, bye.